The stifling summer weather across the country means more Canadians are hitting the water to cool down, even at times those who don't know how to swim. It's a dangerous risk. And tonight, a Manitoba community is in mourning. The CBC's Katie Nicholson has that story. A line of men, folded arms, grim faces. Not far away on the shore lies the body of an 11-year-old girl pulled this morning from the river. It's uh, a sad day, but also a, a happy day that we actually found her. That's, I'm grateful to the good Lord that we found her. On Saturday night, Becky Waldner was playing here on an inner tube in the Assiniboine River. It drifted away in the strong currents. Waldner couldn't swim and slipped under. The river is unusually high after heavy rainfall in Saskatchewan. Its currents too fast and dangerous for RCMP divers. Members of the Hutterite colony launched their own recovery effort. Harold Hofer and three others braved the river. We said a little prayer and hopefully we'll find it just for the sake of the parents. Six and a half kilometers downstream, they spotted something. We seen her in a blue dress, like she was floating face down. We loaded her up into the boat, we covered her up as much as we could, and we brought her back to, to the colony. Waldner's family says, like many girls in the colony, Becky didn't know how to swim, although they say many boys in the community do. We look at the numbers in Manitoba, how they're slightly increasing. Over the the Life Saving Society says last year, 347 people drowned in Canada. Most of those tragedies occurred in rural areas. They just don't have the same opportunities that others would have in an urban environment where we can travel five minutes to a pool, take swimming lessons. The Life Saving Society tells us next week, the third week of July, is when the national drowning rate spikes in Canada. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, near the Poplar Point, Hutterite Colony.